Welcome to episode 275 of the official Game Stitch podcast. I'm Ryan Walton, and as always, I'm joined by Dan Reamer. Salutations. Greetings. And salutations. We could we could start like that every week. I could just say greetings, and then you say and salutations. We could. And then we go right into the news, and then we end the show. <laughs> no personality. No nothing. No nothing. Just just a wham, bam, here's your news. Oh. Mm-hmm. Sometimes sometimes that's good. Sometimes you want it that way, though. And we'll change the name of the show to the Video Game News Show. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be great. Yeah, I think so. I think people will respond well to it. <laughs> yeah. A lot of originality. It's to the point, at least. So before you cut the podcast off, I want everybody to know there's an announcement coming at the end of the podcast. Yes. A, a, a pretty big deal of an announcement. So if you cut it off now, you won't know. No. So you you have to listen through the entirety of the video game news show. <laughs> this is called a teaser. What's happening right That's what now? What I've heard. It's TV term. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. They like the teasers. It's the equivalent to we'll find out. Yep. After the break. Exactly. Yeah. It means you'll watch the commercials. Because you don't want to miss it. Or in this case, listen to the whole entire podcast. Not to be confused with a commercial, correct? Right. Yeah, they, All of they, the show. Two different things. But big, annu- you could, but yeah, big announcement. You could skip to the end, but you don't know where in the end we'll put right. it. Right. I mean, you want to roll the dice and try to find it, go ahead. But I'm not much of a gambler. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm not a risk taker. <laughs> It's not worth so, it to me. And besides that, you don't want to miss all the good stuff in between. Yeah, so the intro, the fine intro we had, and then the announcement we have is like the bread. Yes. But everything else is the peanut butter and jelly. And it is some primo peanut butter and jelly, let me tell you. So I've twice this week for breakfast I've had a peanut butter and jelly. It's funny you say that because twice this week for dinner... I've had peanut butter and jelly. Well, let me see if you came to the same conclusion that I did. Sure. On the first morning I had it, and I'm like, you know, good. When I had it the second day, these were back-to-back also. Okay. I decided that the peanut butter and jelly is the perfect sandwich. It is the perfect sandwich. And uh, let me tell you, here's how... Now, there's a number of variations of how you can do it. Um, I think we've had this discussion before. But I, mm-hmm. I can be pretty particular about what potato chips go with which sandwiches and that kind of thing. Um, so my perfect din- my, my perfect primo dinner setup is one and a half peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, barbecue potato chips, and bread and butter pickles. Oh, I love bread and butter pickles. Mm. That that's I had that for dinner twice this week. And to be honest, I could have had it dinner for eight times this week. Right. And I realize Here's... there's only seven days in a week, so you understand how important peanut butter and jelly can really be to me. Here's where I'm at. Like like you said, I can be pretty picky about things. Mm-hmm. I'm a crunchy peanut butter guy. Mm, creamy. I'm a, I'm a white bread kind of guy. White bread. You could hand me a smooth, a creamy peanut butter, they call it. On wheat bread. and you On wheat bread yeah. with... With jelly that I don't care for, oh, yeah. and it wouldn't make a damn difference. I mean, to be fair, it would probably take a little bit of pushing me, but I could probably have a peanut butter and jelly wrap. <laughs> yeah, it's the most perfect combination that exists. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know how you feel about this, but the second best combination is a grilled cheese sandwich, tomato soup, a dill pickle, and regular Lay's potato chips. Not wavy. they got to be Lay's. I won't go that specific, but I will agree and acknowledge that the grilled cheese, second best sandwich. Okay, good. We're on the same page. And we didn't plan this either. We just... If you alternated a PB&J and then the next day a grilled cheese and then back to PB&J, yeah. I don't know if it gets better. Well, it doesn't. And I can tell you that because that's... Remember I said I had peanut butter and jelly two days this week you filled those in with grilled cheese i had grilled cheese two days this week and i and i had a hot dog and baked beans 
Oh, I love hot dogs. Hot dogs is also a perfect food. <laughs> and if you're wondering why not on the list, because it's not a fucking sandwich. That's, that's correct. It is not a sandwich. Some of you psychopaths out there like to classify a hot dog as a sandwich, no. and that would be incorrect. Is a hamburger on a bun a sandwich? I got mixed feelings about it, because what's a hamburger on toast, like on bread? I, blasphemy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. On Texas toast, I'll, I'll allow it on buttery Texas toast. No, I will not. No. Uh-huh. No, but, it's, but it's called, matter, see, it's called a hamburger bun because it's made to have hamburgers in it. Well, they shouldn't be called hamburgers to start with. It's true. They should be called... I'll take a, Yeah. They should be called beef, y- 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 ground beef patties. They're better? Yeah, b- beef burgers. <laughs> There's no ham in it. It's unacceptable. Well, it was, but, they were originated in Hamburg in Germany, I think, is where that comes from. We can't hold on to that forever. I, I'm, no, but that's how that's how originations work. That's where names come from. But places have adopted like the term like steak burger. Uh, they have, and just gotten away from or Angus burger. They're not calling it hamburger. Well, you anymore. can go to any store and buy ground beef patties. Yeah. So here's the thing about the grilled cheese. I want to get back to the grilled cheese. You sure. pair yours with tomato soup. I pair mine with chili. It's a southern thing. But here's what I'll say: no wrong answer. No, there is no wrong answer. I, I yeah, I can. I can account for both. I will yeah, allow both. Both fine. Lo- Look, I love a good bowl of tomato soup with a grilled cheese. I also love a good bowl of chili mm-hmm. with grilled cheese. My preference is tomato soup, but yeah. chili is a, a, an acceptable substitute if tomato soup isn't available. The, the chili now, thing is a southern thing. Uh, do you dip? Yes. Not in chili. I do in uh, in tomato soup. Oh, I dip in both. I do tomato soup. You know what else I do in my tomato soup? Because apparently I need to carb load. Is I usually put uh, seasoned croutons in my Mm. tomato soup. So I was going to ask you. So this is clearly a southern answer for me also. The cracker of choice for both chili and tomato soup is the saltine. Yes, on the chili. Uh It's oyster crackers for the tomato soup. Yeah, I'll allow that. Oyster crackers. I don't mind an oyster cracker in a in a chili either. For being totally honest, I can if I don't have saltines. Yes, but I prefer saltines. Yeah. Now here's here's where I take issue are people using like Ritz for chili. Unacceptable. No, that's not acceptable. That's that is accept. I will accept that for soups. Yeah, I'll allow it for soups, especially no, a uh, chicken, brothy soup. Chicken noodle. Yeah. Chicken noodle. It's perfect yeah. in chicken noodle. Um, but no, not chili. No, it has it's a saltine or it's nothing. Chicken noodle, also close to a perfect meal. Chicken noodle soup is good. It is not my my first choice. It's 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 when you have a bite though, it feels like childhood. It feels like you're a kid. Yeah. It feels like America in a weird way. Uh huh. Like it just it feels. It doesn't feel, as a. It doesn't feel like America. It feels like Americana. It yeah, feels like it, your vision of what 1950s America was. Like if you go to a, like a old school like hole in the wall, like I expect somewhere on the menu they have chicken noodle soup. Yes, because they have all those components and they just also make that. And it's very easy to make, really. Mm-hmm. Man, I like food a lot. I, I'm a fan. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm not gonna lie at all. If we. We could rebrand the show to Between between the Bread and just make it a sandwich-only focused. Well, the problem with that is you really only got about 30 minutes of mileage out of each episode. And that's probably <laughs> what a, pushing it. What if we renamed it to Yum Yum in my Tum Tum? Because I kind of like that name. <laughs> I do, too. It doesn't... It, you, it, but you could talk about other foods as well, I think, if you do Anything. that. Anything. That leaves you open to some other options. If you called it Yum Yum in my Tum Tum. Well, what if you just did ranking of different types of food in each one? And Yum Yum in my Tum Tum. Uh, you know, it might be uh, one week it'd be chocolate bars. Next week it'd be submarine sand, hot submarine oh, sandwiches. You know, I like, you know I like a good ranking show. We could. I love a list. And that's. You could. You're still looking at about probably 30, 40 minutes. But it's it's full. It's There's content there. That's. But, it's also a super good reason to go out and buy all the different brands right. of 
chicken noodle I can right, find. Because you have to eat them. Right. Yeah. I understand. It's for science. <laughs> it's research. <laughs> it's yum yum in my tum tum. I like that. I I'm like not, I, yeah. That is a that, that's a good that's a good name. That's putting it in my parking lot. That's we're coming back to that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. We're we're good. I feel like something needs to be done with that cuz that name's too good to just leave it there. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> because it's on the internet, we we own it now. Right. <laughs> and I bet yum yum in my tum tum.com is available too. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Which is a great name. <laughs> For a website. Well, the thing is, you got options with it. You can go capital Y's, capital T's, uh-huh. lower kit. You can any variation of it will work. So even if one's taken, one of the other variations is probably yeah. open. Yum yum. In my tum tum. My tum tum is available for sure. And I promise that one will never start with greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Yum Yum in My Tum Tum. Yeah, see, it doesn't see, <laughs> it, it doesn't roll off right. Because it's got to be fun. At all. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, it's Yum Yum in My Tum Tum. It's yeah. got to be Nothing about that title says that we're taking this serious. No. It not. was the excuse for two grown-ass men to go buy every canned chili they could find and eat them. <laughs> yeah. Hormel. Yeah. Is that your, that's, that's, that's where that's I like That's my number go. one. Yeah, mine too. Sorry. Well, can't do that but I would now. try. I'm, I'm willing to try others for science. Oh, me too. So. Yeah, I mean, I'll try anything once. The great thing about something like that is like, how much is Kansas? You know, how much are Kansas soup? How much are hot dogs? You're not going to go broke doing a show like that. No, not at all. You no. Can you imagine? We should. We could rank ramen noodle flavors. Yeah, we I can mean, rank chips. I mean, that's thirty cents we each have to buy. <laughs> we could rank Spend. chips. We could. We could rank everything. <laughs> Top ramen flavors. Yeah. I mean, I would consider shutting down this show to do that one. That's how much I love food. <laughs> Five years down the drain, shifting gears, going to food. It's called a rebranding, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be something. Was about video games, to- called something totally different now about food. We rebranded. That's what it is. Right. <laughs> or maybe, maybe that's a future show. Yeah, maybe that's something else we can look into. Maybe we're trying to do so much we shut down everything and give up on life. Except for Yum know. Yum in my tum tum. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wear that shirt out too, just so you know. I'm I'd a- wear a shirt all day long that said Yum Yum in my tum tum. <laughs> just on the front with no explanation. Yeah, people are going to ask questions. You could They're going to want to. You could do a teeny tiny dot com at the end of it or something. Mm-hmm. To just teeny tiny. It, looks like, it just looks like a period, like it's the end of a sentence. And instead yeah. it's dot com. Yeah, and you could. I, I feel like it's a that's a lifestyle brand. I think we're on to something. Yeah, yum yum and my tum tum's a lifestyle brand. Yeah. It's not just a just a podcast. No, no, it's a it's a yeah, it's a way of life. It's a it's, it's a, a life... show about f- food and fun and friends. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. Without and mostly where we eat. <laughs> what if I could rank? See, it's so much more than just like oh candy bars. It's like the different Reeses. Yeah, you could do the you could do the dollar menu at McDonald's. The different Snickers. You could do the dollar any, menu at any restaurant. Any restaurant. I mean, that's mm-hmm. look at that. There's, we could do the fries. We could do fries from restaurants. Which ones are better? Yep. We which could. fries? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And why? We could track how long it takes me to get diabetes uh, in real time. <laughs> only see what we can do is we can we can go unscientific with it and we can uh, we can measure your progress by episodes. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Which I think l- lends a little bit, a little bit more legitimacy to it. If you actually contract a disease from it, um, it shows dedication for sure. I, I think so. I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that checks out. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Um, it's no secret that a game came out this week. <laughs> that's that's right. More the than game one, comes out every week. Not just one, but but. <laughs> I think he's. I think you're pointing to a specific one. I'm pointing to two, but only one of which that we've played. Okay. Today is 4:20. Just blaze it. We're recording a little bit early. We are. Uh, so that uh, we could have a weekend. We could we could um partake in festivities. Fest. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right word. Festivities. And just, um, I'm gonna go with stuff. But one of those games is. The God of War. I think, War it's, God. I think it's just God of War. <laughs> I don't think there's a dot in front of it. 
the God of War. Do you think they wanted to call it the God of War and decided to drop the the? No. No, okay. not at all. So the God of War came out today on the day we're recording, but GameStop, in some sort of ploy to not go out of business, has decided to start releasing games early. Yes. And I don't mean midnight early. They released it at 9 o'clock. They did. Now, according to the individual at my local GameStop, they have, they're doing this for all new games. Good to know. That they would have a midnight for normal. It's really kind of genius. It really is. It is, I mean, but it's... We've, we've got some work to do, though. Um, you have, you pre-order it any time before the game comes out, all the way till 6 o'clock the day of the midnight would happen. Yes. Here's where it gets weird, though. You have to come back after 6 and pre-ring. Yes. Finalize your receipt. Well, you don't have to. You can come in at 9 o'clock, but you're at that point you're in line. Right. Now I know you didn't have much of a line. I had a kind of a hearty line. I did not. My I was I got lucky. Mine was fairly insignificant. I was part of group three, which is they do a boarding group similar to Southwest. I I was part of group two, but I feel like everybody just got in line and like everybody had their game in five minutes. Well, here's what I couldn't tell. Yeah, same for us. Here's what I couldn't tell. Group one looked to be about four people. Mm-hmm. Group two looked to be like six people. Group three was like 10 people. And group four was like 250 people. Wow. Like, I can't figure out how they did their groups. Yeah, maybe the label maker's broken. <laughs> I don't know. And, and the whole thing's real sketchy. Like, they put a yellow sticker on your receipt. I got a I got a white sticker on my receipt. Okay, they put a yellow sticker on my receipt. Um, and then they stamped it with a paid stamp. Oh, I did didn't get, get that. that I, no, the sticker is the proof that you paid. Okay. So I got a paid and the sticker, and then when I picked it up, he he initialed it and dated it. I did get an initial and a date. I'm not sure why. I guess maybe so I can't go back to it and say, hey, look at my game. Yeah, that's why. So you know what my first thought was, though? What was that? Fake receipt. Print a label. Pull the label off, put it on the fake receipt, go back in and get it again. Why do you need to, for one thing? Um, For a second thing... That's way too much work to get a free second copy of a game. It's not. You copy it on some thin paper, you cut it out, you wrinkle it up like it's been in your pocket. It's not that much work, and you do it because sometimes it feels good to beat the man. That's Yeah, I I, I prefer to pick and choose my battles, and that's one I'm not going to fight. I mean, I, I, you know what? I'm there for you. If, if it's what you want to do, that's great. You go for it. If... You would have stolen a copy. We could have given one away. That's tr- that's true too. Yep. Then you're not. It's, it's not even stealing if you give it away. I've I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh. There's a uh, Robin Hood <laughs> clause. I've heard that in, too. In, yeah, in theft. Yes. As long as you give it to someone who wanted it, and or deserved it, you're fine. Yes. Sir. That goes for armored trucks too. So, you know, go for it. Got yeah, banks, wallets, whatever. yeah, anything, yeah, TVs. <laughs> now I think because this is on the internet, we should at this point tell you that we're only kidding. Yeah, and yeah, disclaimer: this is a joke, <laughs> right? Because I'm not built for jail because you're too dumb to realize we were only joking, and you robbed armor truck and gave it to the poor, and then said we gave you, well, we told you to, um, right? I don't need that in my life. If that happened and they came after us, we would. Do two things. We'd shut down the show. We'd file bankruptcy. Mm-hmm. And then we would start yum yum in my tum tum. <laughs> right. I feel like so that's what, I feel like if that happened we'd be okay. I don't think just actually any I don't know. Zero you could take a hundred percent of zero dollars. Yeah. I no I just I don't think there's any culpability on our part there. I really don't. Well you can Legally. get in trouble for like inciting violence. We did we did not incite violence. We did not incite anybody. We simply... What if we incited theft? Is that a... Yeah, but fake news is a thing, though. That's what we did. We gave fake news. Oh, yeah, fake news. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. CNN's apparently been doing it for years. It's an alternative fact. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> like I made that CNN joke, now people are like, oh, I see what he's up to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have also said Fox News, huh? You got to include them both? I don't know, or care. You probably should. I don't know. The... God of War came out. It did? God... God of War came out. Papa Kratos in the house. 
Now, what's funny is you actually originally weren't going to go and get yours at the 9 o'clock. I was not going to get to 9 o'clock. So I was intrigued. I went For some reason, I didn't pre-order. Then I was like, got to have those three shields. Yes. Those skins that don't do anything. Got to get them. And I went to pre-order, and I showed up, and there's like 50 people in line. I'm like, what's happening here? <laughs> so I asked the lady there, and she said, you can pre-order for another four minutes. I'm like, well, clearly I'm not going to get through this line. And she said, those those lines are for the final ring outs. I'm like, I don't, I guess I don't understand what any of this means. We've been, we've been, um, we've been away for a while. Been, yeah. Been away for a bit. Been, been off the We've been on the Amazon train. Yeah. Right. And she said, you get your copy at nine. I'm like, nine in the morning. She's like nine tonight. See, that's funny. Cause when the guy said that, he said, we're going to get it at nine. We're only going to be almost about nine 30. And I was like. In the, in the morning, right? Clearly, you all, mean in the morning. I was all confused. So I'm like, right. you're closing at nine thirty in the morning to open back up at ten. Yeah, that's, that's weird. That's weird. Yeah, so she said at nine o'clock we're just going to stay open. I'm like, so I can pre-order this and then pick it up at nine. And she's like, no, you can pre-order it then get back in that other line, finalize it then pick it up at nine. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't got nobody got time for that. Mm-hmm. Nobody got time to wait in two lines. So I pre-order it and leave. And then I, so I text you about being able to pick it up and you're like, yeah, I'm going to get mine. I'm like, well, fuck that. <laughs> like, you're not going to be enjoying the God of War and me not. Yeah. So and then, then I, I so, then I gave you shit for it. And right. you said, I believe your text, your exact it's text your was, it's your fault. Yeah. I still feel that way. Okay. I'm, I stand by my reply. Don't be So better. you get yours earlier because you're on the Eastern time zone. Right. Um, I go back, I pick up mine. I went back and, and finalized it. I didn't have to wait in line at all when I finalized it. Yeah. Then I go back, pick it up at nine. It's it, it's like five minutes, but I got there like five minutes before, mm-hmm. and I waited in line with all the unhappy people. Why were they unhappy? I think people don't like lines. I I kind of understand that, but it's kind of you kind of know what you're in for. So they said come back at nine. You're there at eight forty five. You have to wait in a line. Yeah, it's not nine. And the guy in front of me kept going, "Is it nine? No." Because we're not getting the game yet. Because we're still in line. That's how I know it's not nine yet, because I don't have God, the God of War in my hands. I'm not holding the God of War. So anyways, uh, we inst- fairly quick install, a uh, pretty small update. Yeah. We get right into playing Father Kratos. I was worried. Papa Cray. Papa Cray Cray. Yeah, Papa Cray Cray. Toast. Um, I was worried about him being a dad, because... Kratos is, is maybe the most unlikable character in all of video games, mm-hmm. right? Maybe just a, a hair above Duke Nukem. Yes. He... Right. It's close. He's a... Traditional, he's known as like... Yeah, just an asshole. He's, I mean, yeah, he's a raging asshole. I mean, it kind of... Why it happens is kind of understandable, but... Kratos, not a good guy. No, but some of it, a lot of it comes down to he made some poor decisions and then got fucked over by those decisions, and now he's mad at mm-hmm. everybody. Right. Um, it's about Kratos' story. Right. Yeah, you don't need to play the other games to know that he's a dick. <laughs> so, and I'm like, all right, you're going to make him a father because that's vulnerable Kratos, and we don't, we've never really seen one of those. But I'm like, it's if he's an asshole, it's still not going to work for me. And full disclosure here, I'm only about an hour in. You're a little bit further in. Mm-hmm. Um, we're not going to talk past too much of that, but there's going to be some first hour spoilers in what we're about to talk about. Yeah, there is. I will tell you, nothing I'm going to say is going to ruin the game for you. Yeah, we're not far enough to have anything ruined. Right, but there are going to be some things that happen in the first hour we're going to talk about. If you don't want to hear it, um, I don't know, earmuff it. Don't shut the podcast off, though. And if you do, go rate us on iTunes. Um <laughs> So I was really worried about how he was going to be as as a character because they were clearly trying to do something totally different with him. Well, I don't know if they were trying to do... I think they were trying to show some sort of evolution. Um, He kind of got fed up with the life he'd lived and was hoping to move on. I think that's the evolution they were going for more than completely changing who he is. Well, see, so that's what I was worried about. I'm like, you can't make him a softy, but he also can't be the same hard-ass he's been for 75 games. I agree with that. 
And I, and, and I think they securely landed in the middle of that. I was just going to say, and I think they did an excellent job of bringing both of those to the table. Both of those. He rages out through. sometimes, like a parent does. He draws it back after that. Mm-hmm. There's one moment where he grabs him early on. By the arm. Like, what are you doing? By yeah. the arm. Yeah. And then, he, and then he softens his voice as much as Kratos can. Yeah. <laughs> because he realizes that he's scaring the kid. But there's almost something he, he uh, it, it was actually one of the trailers, but he goes to put his arm around him. And. And doesn't. Yeah. Which is very, I feel like a very Kratos move. Yeah. And what I like about it is, um, I'm, like you said, I'm further than you. Uh, I did play some more today, so I'm probably even further than you than I was before. But um, I think you do a good, a very good job without making it blatant in your face that Kratos is trying his best to teach his son to survive, but not grow up to be his father. Right. It, it, there, there's just some moments... But then he does things, so he pretty much refor- refers to him as boy. <laughs> yeah, he's boy a lot. Which I like more than I thought I would. Because he doesn't know how to be loving. He's got some issues with it. You can tell that he wants to, but he doesn't know how. Right, and he doesn't know how the the boy will respond to it when he does. Right. I like he's scared of the response. Now, I'm not far enough to know, but... There's something almost endearing about when something happens and he's like, boy! Now, I will say, as it goes on, uh, Kratos does start using his son's name at some points. He's using it already in the hour I've played, but he's still majority 80-20 calls him boy. Boy. In a non-loving way, almost a shout. And he usually, here's what I found from what I've been playing so far, is when he uses the boy's name, uh, it is generally out of fear. Kratos is right. fear that something has happened to the boy. So, uh, that he's in danger. Um, so it's when he forgets. To me, it, it's that v- vulnerability when he forgets to be the man that he is because he's so concerned with his son. Right. That's when that comes out. So far, um, it's been a lot of development. You can tell... So the, everyone says the game is 25, 30 hour game. It, it's very paced out mm-hmm. in a manner that I feel like your hour is probably my hour. Um, there is a little bit exploring to do, but not a lot. Now it does open up and I know we're not there yet. Um, I, I, but it, I just got there. Yeah. Then you played a lot more because I think it's about five hours in when it really opens up. I've, I've gotten to a hub area. Let's put it that yeah. way. Um, there's not a, I mean, there's some exploring to do. There's some collectibles. They don't really matter for the game. No, but they kind of, uh, but I feel like at the rate it's paced out, it's going to be pretty close to the same amount of hours in play as you play through it. Yes. Um, they do some neat little tricks with the one camera. There are things that happen where it's clearly loading. Yeah. But instead of a loading screen, you're watching a, quasi low like quasi like I don't know cinematic yeah like he can't just open a door he has to like it's a production he takes the controller away and opens it it's clearly loading yeah um it's a it's a neat trick to hide the loading like when he has to crouch under something or mm-hmm. move something out of the way yeah it's a clever trick to load in the background uh, I think it's really smart there's some shaky cam stuff I could live without I don't know if I'll enjoy that it feels like a documentary sometimes. Uh, I, I, it's not something that's bothered me much. Like, early on, he, he goes to shut the door, and it's like a cameraman's trying to squeeze through before he shuts it. Mm-hmm. That's strange to me a little bit. It doesn't bother me. It gives, As Kratos it, to me, doesn't it seem like a, a guy that wants a camera following him around. No, but it, it does give me more of a cinematic feel, though. Yeah, I just... I don't. I don't love the. I could do without the shaky cam. Uh, the camera's fine. I don't need it to shake. It's, I'm a. I'm a Paul Green gas. Green gas. Green grass guy. So. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I, like I don't need it to shake. It. I don't need a fake camera to shake. Um, doesn't bother me though. The the one camera trick, like I said, it's neat. I I don't think it would have mattered if they didn't do that. I don't either. But I think it does do a good job of not 
pulling you completely out of the game for a load. It's something that Corey Barlog wanted to do for a long time. <clears throat> um, to envision a camera following you from start to finish of a 30-hour experience is kind of extraordinary. And, and, and we'll start. This game is beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful. No shit. There are... The, the way that you interact with, with your son is very seamless. You control him without really having to control him. Um, early on, at least, I will say that it's not an escort mission. Your son's not helpless. No. I don't think that he can die. He uh, So really early on, you fight this uh, giant like troll thing. Yes. He beat the shit out of my son. Like, beat the hell out of him because I kept spamming the arrow button so I could figure out what I was doing. Yeah. He was fine. And he beat the hell out of him for like 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> and I had no issues. And then, you know, you can obviously die. Yes. Uh, the game is not what I would call hard and not what I would call easy. I'm playing on the, the moderate difficulty, I guess. I am not. I am playing on the super easy difficulty. Because I so like I'm me think- some baby mode. I'm thinking about switching down to the easier mode. Are you? Just yeah. So, I'm, so you can take things in and enjoy it. So I died once. Have you died at all? Yes, but not because somebody killed me. Uh, it was, it's an environmental thing. So I died. Um, you have an awesome fight with someone really early on. And I died right there. I did not. I couldn't figure out how to block one of the attacks. Well, let me let me rephrase that. I thought I could block one of the attacks that I could not block. Is it the uh, ground one? Nope, it's not the ground one. It's the air thing. Oh, yeah. I kept trying to block it with my shield, and you just have to roll out of the way. Yeah, you got to get out of the way. But I was already almost dead when I got there, and so I died right there, and I, I went right through it the second time. And again, I'm, not, I'm playing on the next step up from easy. There's four There's four modes. Um, One where you just want the, like, I just want the story. It's neat how it how it characterizes the skill level yeah because yeah. it's like I, i'm here for the story like i want a little mixture um i want to be challenged i'm fucking the god of war you know it's <laughs> it's it says that stuff next to them which kind of is it, it's i don't know to me it's it was it, i enjoyed that more than easy you know you suck like right. devil your balls are gonna jump into your asshole if you play this mode i don't need all that in my life don't make me feel worse for not playing on a certain mode yeah I, I'm with uh, you. So, yeah, I got I'll, it on, on super easy mode. I'll probably drop down to that if I feel challenged. I felt challenged in that first fight. That fight is like 15 minutes long. That fight is fucking amazing. I was like, is this ever... I'm on pins and needles. Is it going to end? Because at any point... The whole time. At any point, I could lose what I'm doing. I'm tell you, after that, I felt like I, I felt... Worn out. I was. You felt like you were in the fight. I was a little. I'm not gonna say exhausted, but I kind of was mentally exhausted. I felt it. I I played after that, like right after that, where I knew I was at a good checkpoint, and then I stopped. D- okay. Like I felt like I needed to stretch and just take a breath, relax. Boy. In, in a good way. Leave. Boy. 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 We must leave. Yeah. Gather your things, boy. Which was just a bow, apparently. Yeah. I thought he was going to get so much more. He like grabbed his bow and was like, all right, let's roll. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm like, man, this kid's a minimalist. I like the kid. I do, I do like the kid, though. Boy. The kid's got I like- some... I want. I can't wait to find out more about the kid, because the kid's got some shit going on with him. The kid? Yeah, I'm not going to talk about the kid. I know what you're saying, though. The kid's got some shit going on. <laughs> he. He understands that Kratos is not normal. Yes. Because clearly, 35 seconds in the game, you carry an entire tree. Right. And he doesn't question that. No. He's like, oh, that's my dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my dad. <laughs> but Kratos is not like, he's not like, he's not sitting in a fire with the world's greatest dad cup. No, 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 no. Uh, but he understands that his dad is, is, is special. He doesn't know how, but he does know that he, he's a little different. Right. Also, I want to say uh, that character you fight early on. Yeah, I would play a whole game with that guy. <laughs> you like him? I did yeah. too. That guy's the right kind of fucking crazy. I like, like who I'll... he's a. 
uh, his voice actor is actually uh, Jeremy Davies. Um, I know you've heard me talk about Justified. Yeah. Uh, he plays uh, Dickie Bennett in season two. Uh, and it's also modeled after him, I believe. I'm, I'm assuming he's not gone. Um, I'm curious. For a couple different reasons. I'm curious reasons. as to who he is. Right. But I love that guy. I have some guesses, but yeah, he's great. Just like his whole demeanor and the way he talks to Kratos. The way the way he starts. Everything about, I don't know, it was just a good interaction between the two. Um, And they, they do some really neat things even during that fight to show you that Kratos' values, have, has they've they changed. Yeah. In, in a good way, I think. Yeah, he's... He's in a different place in life, so to speak. He's evolved and grown out of his uh, youthful impetuousness. Right. Let's say, for lack of a nicer way to put it. One thing, another thing I want to talk about, and I don't know if you've paid attention to it much. Um, the soundtrack to this game is mm-hmm. fucking phenomenal. So I think what makes it so good is that for me so I I hear it but I don't pay attention to it which is what I think makes it so good because they use a lot of winds Mm -hmm. um, and it it, a lot of the music sounds like it's part of the environment it's created by the wind blowing in the world that you're walking around in Um, it it feels very organic and it's it doesn't stick out at you and it doesn't seem to uh, a lot of times in movies you know how you're supposed to feel because of the music uh, it right. doesn't do that. It's always a very, just a very, you know, Nordic nature type soundtrack. It's fucking great. It's just enough to know it's there, but not enough to interfere with the game at all or give you an idea how you're supposed to play the game or anything. Yeah, in the hour that I've played, it's never distracted me. Yes. Which I think is perfect. The other thing that I want to give a shout out to uh, Santa Monica and everyone that worked on this game. And this shouldn't come to a surprise if you're playing the game, but the boy is your tutorial. Mm-hmm. He's your God. He's your help. Um, and he never feels like it. No, it, it always feels very organic. Yes. You go the wrong way. And he's like, Hey, I think it's over here. And you're like, you know what? I'm Kratos. I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> Shut up, boy. <laughs> and there's also things that he that he does, especially where I'm at, where you realize you need him. Mm-hmm. Like Kratos might be a big dum dum. He's yeah, he's. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Right. I know he's exactly, all muscle. I I know exactly what moment you're talking about. As a so, because I reacted the same way. I was like, huh, and and what's funny is it's in that scene. It's on Kratos's face too. He's like, yeah. Well, shit. He doesn't understand. Huh. <laughs> they need each other. And and I really can't say enough about how well they have. Again, I'm only an hour in, but I actually care about Kratos. Already. Which is something I never thought I would say. He is the biggest tool in video games. Yeah, he's just a giant whole bag of dicks. And I actually care what happens to him. He's a giant rage monster. Or used to be. He's not he doesn't seem to be anymore. He's still got also, something in him, but he does. I also want to shout out to his beard. Looks good. His beard's looking good. Real good. His beard is looking real good in this. He's got that nice Van Dyke beard going on. Yeah, yeah bitch look good. It's and then it's the, good. It's so good. It's a good the, it's the a markings good. on him aren't as like defined. And like, pronounced. Yeah, they're there. But they're not distracting. He, Again, they're just... Right. Now, I don't know if that's because this is the sixth or seventh game you've played as Kratos. But no, I don't. Are, I think it's because they're blended. They, they seem to blend a little better. Almost like, a, a, you, you know, tattoos fade over time. Mm-hmm. It, almost, mm-hmm. it, it almost gives off that impression. So, when I fired this game up, it gave me the... I'm playing on a pro... Uh-huh. Um, you're playing on, on a PS4, yes. standard PS4. It gave me the option for performance. Uh-huh. 
or um, what the hell was the other one? Visuals. Visual. One makes it look amazing. One, one makes, makes it... lets it run right around forty-five to fifty frames per second. But it brings you down to ten eighty. Yes. The other one lets you do four K HDR. Right. Um, What'd you pick? So I went with performance. Okay. Um, I don't think it's called visual, but those are the two options. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I did go with performance, and the only reason I'm bringing this up is is I don't know off this setting, but that game has ran flawless in the hour that I've played. I haven't had a single problem. Yeah, no hitches, no issues, no anything that looks funny. A couple branches break early off on that tree that he's carrying. Mm-hmm. And what looked a little unnatural to me. Yeah. But it felt like that was just what the game looked like. Right. Um, what about when you're in the boat? And you're early, early on when you're actually in the boat. Yeah. <clears throat> Something kind of satisfying about just cruising. When you turn directions, he switches the side he paddles on. Uh huh. He does. It just felt really good. Also, because I know he could just like with one thrust. Just push him, yeah. To forever, right? He could go forever on one push. He, uh, yeah. I also like if you if you notice, uh, there's some points where, uh, you know, Kratos is he's Kratos when he's paddling, he kind of looking in the direction that he's turning, uh huh, um, which is very subtle. And the kids kind of looking around and just taking everything in, not just being like, a kid. Yeah. Um. So it's uh, it's so the, those little subtle things that Santa Monica has done mm-hmm. that are. Just really, really cool. So it's not the uh, it's not the the God of War cast. So I, I know we've we've talked about it for a while now. It really is great. I really urge you if you have a PS4 and the money to go pick this game up. Yes. Um, this game is crazy with everybody too. Yeah, everybody uh, loves it. It's up to ninety five on Metacritic. Good lord. Um, pretty much the it, best rated game. It is the highest rated exclusive, yep. highest rated PS4 exclusive on Metacritic. Um, if that should tell you something about the quality that we're talking about in this game. Um, um, and this really speaks to, this next story speaks to what this game is. Um, and what went into it. Yeah, director Corey Barlog posted a video. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole video. He's, he's emotional in the video. Um, but when he was talking about the review scores, I thought this was pretty neat, this quote from him. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's saying the score shouldn't matter, but I'm just so fucking proud. I'm just so lucky to work with the people that I work with. I'm glad I didn't fuck it up. Yep. Which is how that game feels when you play it. Like people, like they left everything that they had Every, on the everything field. Everything they had was there. Yep. Yep. Um, it's when you saw him at PSX, you're like, this guy's an alcoholic. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's not even making any sense right now. It makes so much more sense now because you're like, he just, he was, it was everything. He was fucking exhausted. He put everything into that. Yeah, yeah that so, video is really, really awesome. I've watched it a yeah. couple times, actually, because it's, it's, it's sweet. It really is. And he's right. Scores, scores shouldn't matter, but they, you know, they do. We all know they do. Yeah, they matter. Especially as as someone who you know worked on a game for four plus years, it matters to you. Mm-hmm. Everything you want, about it matters to you because it, you because it people, was your life. Yeah, you want people to recognize the amount of work that that your team that you put into something. Yep, all the that. amount of heart. It's I cool. Agree. It's a cool story. Um, he he, you know, he's been with God of War before. It's cool to see him return, and uh, you're. Bat shit crazy if you think you'll never see another God of War. Oh, yeah. New trilogy's on its way, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, you know Sony, Sony likes their money. They do like their money. And and, and, and God I, of War this, is a moneymaker. We, we beat this, the Sony drum a lot. Um, but their first party stuff is good. Aces up. Blows everybody else And if else it's not good, water. it doesn't come out yet. Maybe not Nintendo. Nintendo's got some pretty Nintendo, good. Nintendo too. makes damn good first party here, and I'll even go a step further. I think Xbox, when they release it, makes good first party stuff. Yeah, they just don't. Ever they did not have a very good vision for this cycle for this system. No. Shout out to Sea of Thieves, still playing it, still fun. Yeah, I know you are. Sea of Thieves. I was. Uh, you guys played. A, I got in a party with you guys, but what happened was with God of War coming out, 
I had to get through. I had to finish Far Cry 5. I talked about it last week, but over. I decided, no, I have to do it. Um, right. So I spent some time. There was also some trophies and some different things I wanted to do, and I wanted to finish the game. So, I mean, I had some, I had some late nights making sure that, that got accomplished before God of War came out. And thankfully, it did. Right now, I'm sitting around 85%, uh, 81% maybe on my trophies. Uh, I got a couple more single players to get, and I don't care about the arcade stuff, really. So mm-hmm. I'll have the trophies that I want out of it. But I did finish it, and very satisfying. The ending it's, it's, wasn't amazing, but it was... It sad. It was satisfying, and I think it sets up some future stuff. I think is really what it does. Oh, surely they won't make another Far Cry. No way. <laughs> some might say this is the best time to be playing video games. It's it's a real it's it is it's fun. Yeah, it's so it's much fun to. It's one of the one of the few games that is fun to do everything in the game but play the game. Hmm. You, you go. You know, I went out hunting. I went fishing. Right. Uh, flying helicopters. Uh. Just yeah, it was. It's definitely worth it. I I definitely say you pick up. And I had no reason, no right to like this game. Uh, this is everything that I don't like in games, and I still stand by the fact that I loved it. So, because you lost track talking about Far Cry. Yeah. Um. Before we move on, I said there's two games that came out. Uh, Labo's the other one. Labo's the other one. The Labo stuff is out. Uh, my box is in the living room. I haven't touched it yet. You open it I'll have a tonight. Report back. Mm-hmm. I may open it on on a uh, vid. I may open it on video. I don't ah. know. I may not. I may take my pants off and open it, open it with the privacy of myself. I don't know. You could take your pants off and open it on a vid. I could. I could. I could position things very. Uh, and, and you could call it f- Fortnite strip poker or whatever. Whatever Fortnite? they do. But uh, yeah, what's the thing they're doing now? I don't know, but I would call it Labo though. Yeah, but then you won't get the hits. <laughs> well, I call it like Lab Beto. Labido? Lab. Labido? Lab. Labo. Beto? How about mass libation? Oh, you're not getting enough Labo in that, though. Lab. What about Labo Door Retriever? <laughs> <laughs> Labo Door Retriever Puppy. Rod Skateboard. Giveaways, naked girls. Click now. Labador, Labador like, retriever. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's horrible. It's not bad. It, no, it's horrible. It's not a good pun. You remember Hellblade? I do. It's a good game. Came out on Xbox this week, last week. Uh, yeah, it deals with mental health. We talked about it a lot when it came out for PS4. Mm-hmm. Um, you played it. I did. I want to play it still. Um, so it launched on Xbox One. It sold more than 50,000 copies in its first week. Uh, and that's good for Ninja Theory and for charity because they're going to donate $25,000 uh, to the Mental Health America charity. Now, this the cool part about this is they tweeted out, if we sell 100000 we'll donate 50000 But they didn't sell that many. Well, they said if we do it by a certain date. Yeah, and they didn't do that. No. But it's important to note that they have... Sons come back and said, you know what? We believe in this. So regardless of when it sells 100,000 units, we're going to donate 50. Which is even more awesome. Yes. Because they did something awesome they didn't have to do, and then they upped it, and it didn't happen, and they're like, you know what? We're doing it anyway because it's the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. Um, I think they handled mental illness in a uh, a very respectful way. Yes. Um, and Without I think that this continues to show that. Yes. So it's, shout it's, out to it's, those it's, guys. It's definitely a cause that Ninja Theory cares about. Yeah. Um, this is this is a story about a game that's been out for a long time, but but I wanted to put it on here because I feel like they deserve to have that story told. Oh no doubt. No. And doubt. I don't think they did it for publicity. No, I don't either. Yeah, I don't get that feeling at all. So cool story. Go buy that game on either either console. Good on you, Ninja Theory. Uh, from a great story to a dumb story. This all, and it's about the team I hate the most. So right, that's I even better. Appreciate it. Right? I don't even want to talk about this story. At uh, all, to be honest, you ever heard of Fortnite? Yes. 
maybe the most popular game in the world. Uh, really? So popular that the NFL's Buffalo Bills oh, have created a silly new video uh, to announce their schedule with Fortnite. Don't look at me. I'm not. I got nothing to say about this. The tweet starts <laughs> with "All aboard the battle bus." Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, it shows Fortnite's famous battle bus flying across the map, but instead of places like Tilted Towers, you see locations like uh, Bill's Badlands. Bill's Badlands. I, I mean, this is going to happen. I uh, yeah, I know. Fortnite has become so popular that, unfortunately, this is going to happen. It's going to be everywhere. The, the problem is, is, I wonder if... It'll be interesting to, to, to see over time if the fact that Fortnite gets, Fortnite gets co-opted like this by so many different brands and such, if people are just going to burn off the game. I can't wait for, for a commercial where... Someone jumps out of the battle bus, and when they pull their shoe, it's a giant Lay's potato chip taking them to the ground. Right. <laughs> I can't wait for the day where he pulls out a can of Pringles, a Pringle bazooka, and shoots chips at somebody. <laughs> uh, it'll just be, yeah. It's, it'll just be interesting to see if Fortnite can m- maintain its popularity with it just being... I think it can. I think it, I think it grows even more. Pushed everywhere. Also, fuck you, Buffalo Bills. Yeah, I hate the Bills. This is stupid. <laughs> have a little, have a little respect for your team. Well, they suck. This is like the last resort for it to be relevant. Someone in the organization was like, "Hey, uh, that Fortnite's cool, huh?" Yeah. People like that. What about Bills Badlands? Been thinking about it all day. Because of like Battle Bus, Bills Badlands. You get it? Right. It works. Right. You, it you works. don't know shit about the Bang Bus, okay? <laughs> Nothing. You dumb bills. I'm done with that story. I'm tossing it out. This next story really doesn't matter to me either, but it's on here. Um, you can finally, in PUBG, you're finally going to be able to select your map. <laughs> Yay! You think? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. It's a multiplayer game with multiple I mean, maps. You could select which map you want to play up. Play yeah. on. So... Okay, Sony, if PUBG can do this, you can help us change our name, right? <laughs> uh, Fortnite also has private matches now in case you want to play 1v1 on that big-ass map. <laughs> While we're talking about other things that don't matter. <laughs> I don't know. This is coming to PUBG soon. If you play it, uh, get excited. Yeah. I'm not I'm not shitting on PUBG here. Um, what a dumb thing to have to announce that you added. Yeah. I understand. No, I understand completely. We added an options menu. You're welcome. It's like, <laughs> right. okay, I can, right. I can select a map now. We've made it possible for you to press X to start the game. Woohoo! Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> That's what it feels uh, like. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck. I don't... I can't take it. Yeah, it's not a great story. That's also rounding out the news. It's <laughs> making my head hurt. Yeah. Now you know why we went a little heavy on God of War this week. We had to. <laughs> because our other options were the Buffalo Bills bang bots and... Uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, Billy Mitchell didn't say anything else stupid. <laughs> right. Or cheated any other game, so we had to go with the bang, the Bills bang bots. <laughs> and uh, Pub- PUBG <laughs> lets you pick the map now. How's that for hard-hitting news? Oh, yeah. Remember where you heard it first, folks. <laughs> right. Breaking news. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> uh, well, so speaking of Bang Bus, <laughs> <laughs> which is how I start most of my conversation, right. just to gauge the audience, because if they react, I know they know that I know. Thanksgiving dinner. Right. Oh, speak, speaking of pass of gravy, speaking of Bang Bucks. Big Bus. Big Bus? Bang, bang Bus? bus. Bang bus. Well, bang if you girls. say speaking of bang bus, you can immediately tell who around you watches porn. Mm-hmm. But um, speaking of bang bus, how long till Fortnite porn happens? It probably already has. I would imagine, hasn't it? Yeah, Pokemon Go porn happened like immediately. Yeah, as someone told me. Um, <laughs> and I'm wondering 
Yeah, how long till the Fortnite <laughs> born is out? How to go looking for it, but if it's on the main page, you know, you see it. It's not like you're like, hey, Pokemon Go. Fucking. You know? But if it shows up. So I'm wondering how long <laughs> till the Fortnite stuff is there. I don't know. I don't know. No, it may already be. I don't know. <laughs> how would you know? <laughs> They're in a bus and the guy's got a pickaxe? <laughs> I don't know. Shaped like a flamingo? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I have no idea. No. Let me know. Uh, at game underscore stitch on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the news. You're welcome. No. Uh, should we tease it? Should we should we tell the thing we tease now or should we wait? I, uh, let's let's wait. Let's wait till after we do your gone but not forgotten. Gone but not forgotten. Our newest favorite oldest segment. Where we reach back in our gaming past, we tell you all about something we loved in hopes that you loved it too, and maybe you'll watch videos on it, or if you still have it in a dusty old drawer, you'll blow it off. Blow it off? You'll blow on it, you get the dust off of it, you'll play it. You'll blow it right off. That's right. And this week, it's Ryan's turn. <laughs> it is my turn. I, I, I have a good game for uh, DS. And uh, it is, uh, you can play it actually in other places, but I played it on uh, DS. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Stories. Oh, Wow. It's on Android iOS DS and PSP, but it came to it came to DS first. Yes. Um and this is kind of like a throwback to OG Grand Theft Auto. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I fell in love with this game in a way that I never thought I would. It had it did some really like like kitty stuff with the touchscreen that I found to be enjoyable, like when you um hotwire a car and stuff. It was endearing. Yeah, kinda. Tugs at the old heartstrings. Yeah. Every now and then it's fun to be a kid. Oh, I get it. You ever sit on the sidewalk, you find some chalk, you're like, I'll draw. I, I No, because I, I've never just found chalk. I find chalk all the time. Sitting in places. <laughs> Parks, schools. That must be you. Oh, there you go. And, yeah, uh, that's not weird. <laughs> so wow. Chinatown Stories, I, I you can play it on, it's probably fine on your tablet or anything like that, wherever you play it. It's probably fine like that. Uh, initial release though was March seventeenth, two thousand nine. So it's getting some it's getting some age to it. But because of the art the art style, the way it's presented, I think the game's probably fine to play today. Yeah, it's very much got that uh, uh, almost the like the Ace Attorney style, only a little bit a little different uh, animation anyway. Yeah, um, it's top down drawing, old but, school. They do like the panel thing that they like yeah, to do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like yeah. Um, there's some timer stuff that I remember. Some time stuff. I don't love time stuff. I hate time stuff. Overall, I thought that game was cool. It had a neat vibe. Um, it was Grand Theft Auto without being like overly Grand Theft Auto. And another cool thing, we were working at GameStop when this came out, and they sent a box full of fortune cookies. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I still have those fortune cookies. All of them? Yeah, whole box. I never ate any of them. I, I eat all mine. They're in a takeout Chinese takeout. Yeah, I remember. Mm-hmm. I it's remember. right in here, in a, right in here in a shelf. But I ate them because I, I wasn't into for. I wasn't into Chinatown Wars like you were. That's what they're for. You, you you never played it, did you? I never played it. No. Yes, it's really good. Uh, developed by Rockstar North, Rockstar Leeds, and War Drum Studios. Um. So shout out to those guys for making a cool game in two thousand nine. And that's this week's Gone But Not Forgotten. That is this week's Gone But Not Forgotten. Remember, if you have one for us, hit us up using the hashtag GBNF on Twitter or email us podcast at gamestitch.com. That's right. And I don't know if you remember now, but we did tell you at the beginning that we had a pretty big announcement to make. Announcement. Announcement. It's got a soft H at the beginning. Announcement. That'd be a hard H. We have an announcement. So we do have a large announcement. A pretty big announcement. Um, this year, June 9th, 10th, and 11th, there is a comic convention called FC3 in Rochester, New York. And uh, on one of those days, we don't know which one yet, 
Ryan and I are going to be presenting a panel. So we are going to be panelists at a real live comic book uh, convention. Uh, FC3 is in its third year, so it is still relatively new, but it's growing. They do have some pretty significant some pretty significant guests. Uh, we do not have a schedule yet. We're still working on scheduling. But if you're interested in learning more, you can go to fc3rock.com. That's capital F, capital C, 3roc.com. And you can find out more about the show. But um, should I get into the details of what the show is going to be? Or should I? Uh, we, we got time. Yeah, we got time. Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that at a later. Also, FC3 Rock sounds like a great name for a radio station. <laughs> FC3 Rock. You're listening to FC3 Rock. But uh, Rochester's known as the Flower City. That's what the FC comes from. Oh, Flower City. I didn't know that. Yep. I would have never guessed that. Well, also, uh, back in the 1800s, it was a large uh, flower ma- uh, distributor. Uh, that's one of the main things the city did before Kodak. And they're also known for their lilacs. So it works both ways. But the FC3 is Flower City Comic Con. Right. So it's FC3. Three. Which is not squared. What's the other one? Cubed. Comic Con. Comic Con. Flower. FC3 S- Rock. Flower City Comic Con. Right. But yeah, so we're super excited for that. Yeah. Um, Small caveat. Yeah. There's a chance <laughs> with work in real life that I can't go. I'm planning on going, but I just want to say that now. Mm-hmm. In case so you, that, yeah. In case you hate me, in case you hate Dan and love Ryan, mm-hmm. and you come all the way out to FC3 to see Ryan, and then he's not there, and now you're mm-hmm. just angry because it's just Dan who you hate. Right, uh, the whole time, you're like, I hate that guy. And by, by the way, there's a line, so <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that. But <laughs> but if uh, if everything goes to plan, I would be there. So, not trying to scare anybody off, I just want to be totally up front. And if not, it, even if Ryan can't make it, the panel will still happen, I will just be doing it uh, solo. And we're not going to tell you what it's about yet, but no. I will be involved in the process of getting it together either way. Yes. So. Right, Ryan's, hand, Ryan's handprint will be on it regardless. Perfect world, I'll be there. Non-perfect world, it'll at least feel like us. Yes. If I can't be there. And and we'll do our best to get some video, even if it's not perfect video of that, mm-hmm. and put up on YouTube. Yep. So, no promises, we'll do our best. So, that remember, that's, that's fc3roc.com, fc 3 rock. They won't be able to forget it because I did the FC3 rock. Blow your eardrums and boyfriends for 30 years. That's whatever, you know. That's pop. What? (laughs) Yeah, you know. It's a promo. It's not. About BJs and eardrums. (laughs) What kind of radio do you listen to? (laughs) Different kind? No, yeah, not that kind. (laughs) I don't watch. Pokemon fucking go either, but or whatever you call it. Yes, but. you do. I didn't watch it, but if it's on the main page, you see it. Like, how does this work? You checked it out. So let me tell you how it worked. You could not. I don't care how it worked. I'm he he had an app that showed him where the Pokemon were, but the Pokemon were ladies that were feeling frisky. Well, that's not Pokemon. That's that's not Pokemon Go. But, I mean, it was presented like he was dressed like Pokemon Trainer <laughs> using the app, and it would show, like, Pikachu. But then when he got there, it was Lady Pikachu. Oh. And she was friendly. Wagging so. her tail. And yeah. Complaining at least, me, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what the that's what the note said. Gotcha. That's, show, that's yeah. what the show note says. <laughs> now it's feel, time for sh- What? I feel dirty. I feel That's so fun. dirty talking to you tonight. What's wrong with you tonight? Somebody made $36 to star in that film. It's so gross. Porn doesn't even pay good anymore. Well, the depends. market's been saturated. It depends on the porn. Well, the thing is, everybody wants the amateur stuff. 
They're not really into the professional stuff anymore. <laughs> yeah, they want something shot on a fucking iPhone. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 because those. Let's face. I mean, cause, and I understand the thought process behind it because you know, just regular everyday dudes and chicks aren't. <laughs> it's aren't, not aren't, though. Aren't, aren't hooking up with a porn star. It's um, not. The porn but, industry is smarter than the people who watch it because the professionals just grab iPhones. Oh, I yeah, but it's, it's a better. It's it gives off uh, the better impression than the professional style porn. I tell you what else seems to be big is the uh, um, audition room stuff lately. Oh, the casting, the back room casting couch. Yeah, there seems to be a lot <laughs> of those though. That's old school. Back it room casting old, couch. Yeah, it is old school. But they always blurred his face out like you couldn't see who the agent was. Yeah, but it's there's a lot of them. Like there's all kinds of them, and they've got all kinds of different names. But it's the same setup, right? Well, it's the same setup, yeah, and all the same stiff stuff happens. Actually, worse stuff kind of happens now because it's a whole different world now. All the same stuff <laughs> happens in every porn. <laughs> no, it's 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 different stuff. It's it's very misogynistic stuff. Let's just put it that way. So I, it feels like a weird time to be doing those kind of videos, huh? It does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't seem like the right time. The here's the problem though, is that everything current gets a porn. That's true, and that's what's current now. Yeah. You're right. I don't know. It's unfortunate. Hashtag Fortnite porn. See some, I just sometimes there's like some straight up doggy style porn. Some just yeah, girl on just girl. Depends where the camera's just, at. Just some of the regular stuff. Yeah, you you know, son the, of a bitch, girl on girl. The, watching guy on guy too to keep it fair? The, the no. <laughs> no. Sorry, you ass. <laughs> that might not be PC, but no. You um, son of a bitch. No. I watched some threesome action, but um, that's about as far into it as I get. <laughs> that's how you're. That's how you're equaling out. Like, no, oh, man, two dudes in this. One. No, no, no. I, I never said anything about equaling it out. Um, never said anything about that. Do you have to be PC with your porn? Porn, the one thing you don't have to be PC with. I don't think you do, um, because I think porn is very much okay. Well, porn has no place in the political landscape at all, um, but um, I think uh, there is so much of it out there that there so is much. something geared to you that you do not have to be involved and accept for yourself all of it. There yeah. might even be, and and don't freak out when I say this. There might be too much porn. Um, and here's yeah. the reason I feel that way. I'm I'm like I'm as open minded as one gets. I feel like, like if if you like that thing, that's your business. But you've seen some shit. Yeah, I get it. Right. <laughs> I've seen some dark places where I'm like, I don't know if anybody needed that. I've seen are some you, stuff so bad that I like. I got to see what this is even. Ha- what's happening? Or you're watching. Now. You're like, who watches this? Yeah, this isn't even working for me. You're like, what? Then it's like 1,376,000 views. And you're like, who are these fuckers? Who yeah. are these people? I don't, I don't ever want, I hope, I hope I don't know any of them. I watched that's one. A, <laughs> and that's the thing you don't know. Like it could be you. I, I don't watched know one that. the other day because I, based off the title, I had to see what was happening. <laughs> the thumbnail and the title. And I get in there and I'm like, I don't, I don't know that this is, I don't know if it's working for anybody. It's certainly not working for me. It seems like a weird thing. So, as I like to do sometimes, I was like, let me read the comments. You ever read the comments of a born? No. <laughs> They're pretty no, good. I, uh, no, I do not. So I scroll down. You know what the very first comment says? What in the fuck is happening right now? I'm as hard as a log cabin. And I was like, I don't even know what that means. But apparently I was wrong in that this is not for anyone. That guy's as hard <laughs> as a log cabin. <laughs> I was like, what a random thing to compare yourself to. It's hard, I guess. <laughs> what a random thing to pick. <laughs> to be like, I'm as hard as a school bus right now or whatever right, you pick. Right. I'm as hard as a log cabin. <laughs> Which is a pretty good comment, as it turns out. Because I was like, I guess this is for someone. And then I left. I wish I got his username. I give him a shout out right now. That's probably better you don't. <laughs> 
He's probably just somebody that goes to every weird one he can find and writes that on there, which is also fun that that's his thing. That his hobby is to like troll the porn message, like the comment section. <laughs> with I'm as hard as a log cabin. <laughs> which is also a shirt coming to the, our store. No, it's no. <laughs> Please, no. Just I'm as hard as, and it's a picture of a little Lincoln log cabin. <laughs> okay, that I can get behind. Um,. Because that's what I picture when you say log cabin. It's not an actual log cabin. No, it's definitely Lincoln it's, Logs. It's a Lincoln Log cabin. <laughs> it's definitely Lincoln Logs. And that's why it's got it's got it's got a plastic green roof. What are you right. talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's not. I don't know. I'm as hard as a log cabin. All right, cool. I'm closing this video out. Uh, don't. Uh, I would don't. Uh, as much as you're gonna want to, um, I, I wouldn't. Make that the title of the show. No, no, the title of the show is Yum Yum in My Tum Tum. <laughs> Without a doubt, because I don't want to forget that. Okay. <laughs> so if I don't want to forget something, I'll like name name episodes. So if next week is like milk, eggs, bread, or, you know, just remember it so that I could remember. <laughs> it's just. It's just my shopping list. How awesome is that? That yeah. would be awesome. We should... Always just I name just it something I don't need to forget. Make it your shopping list. Yeah. <laughs> oh now it's time for shout outs remember if you want to shout out all you have to do is head over to patreon.com forward slash game stitch and support us at the ten dollar tier that affords you the ability to have a shout out each and every week if you don't give us one sometimes dan will creep over your twitter and find one for you sometimes sometimes we'll make up one if we didn't have enough time to, for dan to creep over your twitter and find one sometimes <laughs> uh we got two shout outs this week first shout out from thomas from Thomas. Thomas says, uh, Thomas has shout out this week because he this... truly appreciates, I am paraphrasing here, okay. but he truly appreciates that his son sleeps all day so that they can stay up together and play games all night. That's, uh, that's Garrett, Garrett. That's what I said, isn't it? No, you said Thomas. Oh, I meant Garrett. I'm sorry. Yeah, shout out from Garrett. Garrett Wade. My, my bad. Uh, that, that's the first one that I had in my head. I had him in order. He messed right. it up. Um, it's your fault. It is my fault. That's fine. But, uh, so the problem with that is I'm not sure if he's like actually glad about that or being sarcastic. Um, I know most people get upset when their children are awake all night. Um, but understanding I've, that's a part of life, a part of how it goes, then perhaps he was serious about it. I feel like he's not sarcastic. I like he's pumped to spend time. I, he do, I think he enjoys spending time with his son. Yeah. I do think he might want to sleep at night. Um, it's overrated. But I disagree. Um, but since he's already up, he's going to go ahead and play in video games. So, I mean, if you've got to be up, why not do that, right? So, I don't know. Um, but uh, he's uh, he hasn't been too active on the social medias, probably because he's the father to a newborn, mm -hmm. um, would be my guess. Because my understanding is they take quite a bit of caring you have to care for them and stuff tender like, loving care yeah like hamsters um or plants so, uh, or plants you know you got you gotta like feed them and water them and mm -hmm. not babies necessarily plants Put them out in the sun but, for a while you know <laughs> <laughs> you have to they gotta get some sun <laughs> they do because vitamin d poison or vit lack of vitamin d deficiency is a real thing mm-hmm you can call it vitamin D poisoning if you want to be hardcore, too. It's, no, because that means you had too much. Yeah. But too vitamin D deficiency D. means you don't have enough. Too much of that D. Vitamin. That's something different. <laughs> vitamin D. That's, yeah, that's that's one of them porns you watch. <laughs> vitamin D. <laughs> it's nuts. Right. Some porn names don't even make any sense. I know. You ever... I know. You ever... Uh, we're back to porn. You ever get clickbaited? <laughs> When you're on the site and all of a sudden the thing comes up and it's like, meet meet over no. 50 singles in your area. Right, that yeah. was? No, not the single women ready to fuck in your town. <laughs> right, yes. No, the ones that are, you're like, you see a thumbnail and you see the caption, you're like, oh yeah, I'm into that. And then you click it and that's not what that is. No, I don't. I X out of all of those. If, if one starts to pop up, I X out of it. No, no, no. I, like you're scrolling through the collection of, of offerings. Oh, oh. You no, that's never one. happened to me. That's never happened to me. Yeah. You're like, this is not even, this is false advertising. Mm, no, I, I don't think that's happened to me. Like, not as described. 
I don't I don't like that. I I, I understand. Well, taboo seems to be like really in right now too. Taboo, that's, yeah, like that taboo stuff. how? Like a lot of like mother son. Oh yeah, no, that's like weird. mom's hand stuck in the garbage disposal, so he's just gonna bang his mom. He, uh, the washer, there's a washer oh. one. Like I'm that. like, that's a medical emergency. Right? Yeah. What if she she might have cut her hand? She could be bleeding. What if out it right gets now. turned on? Right. What an asshole! Stupid son. She she got stuck under the bed on one of them. Like in she like in the doggy style position, which is how we all look under things under our beds. Ass up. How's that even possible? Who does I that? Know. I don't. I don't get under the bed. How do you like get that. stuck under the bed? <laughs> and 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 if we can look past the weirdness that you're banging your mom, no judging if that's your thing. Um, how is the first thing you do when your mother's like, "I'm stuck"? You're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bang that ass right now too." <laughs> what a set of globes on that guy just to decide that that's his moment. The thought, yeah. Because I would probably want to help my mom. Yeah. Like, if she was in a situation like that. Yeah. I would want to. I would want to help her. And. I mean, he not, is helping her. If you understand what I'm saying. No, that's that's not help. That's <laughs> that's, that's taboo. taboo. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that stuff. A lot of like, you know. Daddy daughter. Yeah. Weird old stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's yes. not even. That's... Stepbrother blackmailed sister. Blackmail sister? Oh, yeah. were they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Was, Don't tell mom, but I got a failing grade. I yeah. won't tell her if you suck my dick. Because <laughs> that's how the acting goes. <laughs> that's why people like amateur, because there's no acting. Hmm? They just be natural. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. This podcast has gone really... Oh, man. You are on a porn kick. I know what you're doing when we're done. Wait, I wasn't planning. No, I'm, I'm not. Fine. I'm not I'm talking to you for, so, for like a few I'm, days, by the way. I'm fine. I'm... Because I don't need to. I don't. I don't need that in my life. I didn't even bring it up ever. It's been what? organic. It's organic. Oh, just brings itself up. That's how it works. If you if you say so. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm at podcast Ryan Dan is at shirtless Dan. Together we're at game underscore stitch. You can check out our videos, youtube.com forward slash game stitch. Sometimes we stream on Twitch. That's twitch.tv forward slash game stitch. And I think that's it. I was going to make an announcement, but it will, it wouldn't be relevant by the time this came out. So I, I held back. All right. Uh, before we go, I, I do want to give Thomas his shout out. Oh man. You shouldn't have let me get all, you shouldn't let me get crazy like that. I Plus, didn't want to stop you in the middle of in it. In fairness, rolling, you already bro. gave Thomas his shout out as Garrett's. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, so he kind of got his it's kind of right right okay um, thomas's shout out ten dollar tier patreon.com forward slash game stitch go thomas uh, actually has not been very active um on social media either but he uh did comment on a thread where someone said sea of thieves is basically just no man's sky um and thomas disagrees with that because there is no one else playing in No Man's Sky. It is just you. And he feels that No Man's Sky should have been a MMO style, especially with the size of the universe, because the odds of actually running into somebody, if you had servers similar to Sea of Thieves, would be still be slim to none. But the possibility was there. So uh, I, I just thought it was a really good shout-out to how... Uh, see a shout-out for a shout-out. Um I thought I gave a good shout out to where Thomas's head is with Sea of Thieves. He loves this game. He's playing it. He's into it. He's loving it. Um, he's playing it as much as possible. And I just love to see people who love something like that. I, I don't dislike that comparison. I'm not going to go deep into it. Maybe next week we'll talk about that. Okay. I don't dislike that comparison, though. No, I. I think I think there's some plausibility to it. I think there's some problems with it. But I, but it um, is worth it is worth but, saying that if you'll go back and listen, I'm a fan of No Man's Sky. Yeah, I am too. Um, but I, I do think that I do think that on a base level, don't give it were, all away. Huh? You don't give it all away. You got to tease them. Oh my god! You, gotta te- you give it all away. I didn't actually. I didn't say anything. You were about to. You're about to say everything, I know, and the next but then week you I'll discuss me out it by myself. It. 
that's great. So next sure, week we can be I'm like, not going to. is maybe we'll tease it on Twitter. Like, is No Man's well, Sky? Is well, Sea of Thieves the next No Man's Sky? Okay, maybe you need to uh, make that the title of this episode. No, so it's called Yum Yum in my Tum Tum. Talk about it last week, next week. Yum Yum in my in my Tum Tum. Yum Yum in my Tum Tum. Semicolon. Is Sea of Thieves? I feel like we should get a like a, a J pop or a K pop group to sing our jingle. Yeah, I'm okay with K-pop. Okay. Cool. Done. It seems more racist now that you said that. Why? That's what it's called. Because it had to be Yum Yum, though. Like Yum Yum in my Tum Tum, it had to be like a K-pop. Yum Yum Sauce. Well, because what it made me think of, it made me think of the, uh... It is the Yum Yum that does it, but it's in uh, the Serenity movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm-hmm. They have this, uh... You're definitely the only person that thought of this. Super Odie bars, and that's what causes uh, what's her face's trigger that causes her to kill everybody. Um, so, but it's it's a it's a little Japanese cartoon that's a advertisement for Super Odie bars. And I that's, thought of it, it made me think of that. I thought of Yum Yum Sauce. I don't even know what that is. I think it's it's fantastic. I, what is it? If you go to like a hibachi, like a Japanese steakhouse, it's the little sauce that they give you with it. It's like a... Uh, Which sauce? Which one? Because there'd be a couple. It's like, it's the one that's like a... Like a peaches, like... Kind of like a peach color. It's like white, but it's got like a little hint of orange. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the one you're talking about. It's tasty. It's really good on chicken? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that one. yeah. You can just buy yeah. a bottle of it at the store. It's the yum yum sauce. Oh, I never tried. Yeah. No, but it is good, though. You're it's a right. staple in my one. household. I keep it here. I, I know the one you're talking about. Because for yeah. that Chinese food you make? Yeah. It's for the yum yum in my tum tum. Oh. Hey, oh. New show. Trademark, registered all rights. Game Stitch Inc. You can't steal it because we said it all on the internet. Also, we didn't check to see if yum yum in my tum tum was a thing. That's right. I'm going to Google it real quick so we can crush our dreams if it is. Okay. Just say something so people are entertained. I'm. Are you not entertained? That's a movie. Look at this. Um, did you find it? I'm searching right now. Did you find it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we might have changed the name. Why? Is it taken? It's not taken. Um, there is a Urban Dictionary listing for it. Oh, no. It's not. I, let me see this. It's not, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's not. My... This one says "yummy, yummy" in my tummy. Yeah, "yum yum" in my tum tum definitely pulled up something. Um, so there's two listings for Urban Dictionary. One I'm going to give you right off the bat: um, December 28, 2017. "Yum yum" in my tum tum, or "yum yum yummy" in my tum tum tummy is when you're eating lunch and it tastes so good that you can't contain yourself. A succulent food that tastes very nice. Yum, 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 in my tum, tum, tummy. However, yum, yum, in my in tum, 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 is something different. It's something. A, it says it's a story, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but if, it's, if you're looking for a story about that and you find an audio show, well, you might that think that weird. that's what. That could be weird. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not giving up on the name. We'll get a new Urban Dictionary. Listing. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's a reason to a show that lists succulent food. Yeah, I mean, as long as we have like a description and basically everything that goes up, um, I think like we should not be fine. this. Like what? Like it's hey, it's not this other thing, <laughs> right? Just, Full disclosure, not this other thing. <laughs> it shows about food, and it's sort of family friendly. Yeah, uh, I don't suggest. Um, I don't suggest Urban Dictionarying. Yum yum in my tum tum. Or do I don't know. This has been episode two hundred and seventy five. Two hundred and seventy five of the official Game Stitch podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for lending us your ears. Thanks for sticking with us. Be weird tonight. It's a Friday night episode. It's never a Friday night episode. It's it is tonight. When it is, you gotta get a little weird. We we definitely got weird. Got to, yeah, you learned a little bit more about us than you had in the past. 
there's definitely some stuff y'all know. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That's what we do. We share. We care. We show up every week. You're welcome. Click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Like, comment, share. Write it. Write it. Write us. Rate us. Write us on iTunes. You, you can write. You can write us on Twitter, or you can uh, rate us on iTunes. We gotta. We gotta make the show more tween friendly. So, so we gotta. We gotta start with, "Hey guys," because that's how all those things start on the YouTubes. Why do we have to make it more tween friendly? Right, so what you gotta do to get famous now? I, I yep. don't want to Generation Y. No, they're what they are. They're actually Generation Z now, aren't Z. they? Z. Yeah, they're like, hey guys, welcome to the vlog. And then they talk oh, about whatever they're doing. And then they constantly slot in, like, comment, share. Yeah, but don't they do, like, uh, isn't video logs the thing? The, the vlogs? Vlogs. Isn't that the thing yeah. they do? Uh huh. That the, Those are, like, bigger than. You just say, like, it's just somebody, like, opening a can of chili, and you're like, all right, I'll watch that. Yeah, it's so weird. Mm hmm. Yeah, we gotta bring a little bit of that. It's a little spice, a little tween spice. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> it's it sounded way more creepy when I said it than when I was thinking it. I don't want any tween spice either. I don't want any part of that. That's why I said I was good. I, was like, no, I couldn't good. back up. I already said it. Yeah, I know. You should have seen your face. Yeah, because it didn't feel good. It didn't feel good as at all. As, you, as soon as you said it, you were like, Ugh. I think I was gross. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want any people spice at all. No part of that. Thanks for joining us. Oh, it's been a night. I worked all day. I'm tired. <laughs> it's, 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 I haven't had dinner yet. We've we've had an evening. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you next week, same time, same place. Good night. Good night.